Now, Orange County deputies looking for clues into who killed a man whose body was found inside the wreckage of a car. State troopers responded to the wreck at 37th Street and Tampa Avenue about 3.30 this morning. They found 24-year-old Jeremiah St. Roman dead in the car. But as Travel Island reports, they soon realized that it may not have been the crash that caused his death. Neighbors on this dead-end street were jolted out of their sleep around 3.30 Saturday morning by the sound of a loud bang. Um, I went back to the back of the house to see whether or not possibly a tree had fallen down because we'd had some bad weather recently. It wasn't until a few moments later that Alvin Bell found out the loud thump was a single vehicle crash. As I went past uh, my door, I saw uh, ambulance, firemen, um, police officers. I mean, the cops were everywhere. Once the sun came up, the extent of the damage was clear. Troopers say the driver of the Lexus was driving at a high rate of speed down 37th Street near Tampa Avenue and did not notice the road was a dead end. The car had crashed through the fence. It had went through the basketball court and it hit the goal there. Troopers say once the driver hit the pole, the car flipped and landed on its left side. Investigators found the driver inside of the car dead. Troopers thought they were investigating a routine traffic crash that ended in a death. However, once the driver was transported to the medical examiner's office, they found the injuries were not consistent with the crash. At this time, investigators are not giving details about the injuries that caused the man to die, but this crash is now a homicide investigation. I hope that they find out who did it. If, if it's indeed a, a homicide, um, he needs to be brought to justice. At this time, troopers don't have any information about the passenger who ran from the vehicle, but they are asking anyone with information on this incident to give the crime line a call. In the newsroom, Travel Island, West 2 News.